dawn of the industrial age, there was radical change in the way the world worked. Large-scale production became possible when machines started to replace hand tools and machine-driven factories were introduced. Now we find ourselves in the information age. Since the digital revolution, controlling information has been the most influential factor in our development. About five exabytes of information courses through the internet each day, which is the equivalent to 40,000 two-hour standard definition movies per second. Google handles more than 40,000 searches per second, and there are nearly two billion websites in existence. So, if we agree we're currently living in the information age, the natural question is, what's next? According to strategists, the information age is giving way to the experience age. Artificial intelligence, chatbots and social messaging are changing the relationship between customers and brands. Instead of the traditional one-way broadcast, the relationship is now a flow of conversations. Others say we've not yet left the information age, but when we do, it will be replaced with an imagination age. The term imagination age was first introduced in 1993 by designer and writer Charlie McGee. Instead of data, the driving force in civilization will be thinking. A huge body of thinkers are now also pondering the fourth industrial revolution, which is evolving at an exponential rate and refers to the convergence of our physical, digital and biological worlds. Just as the digital revolution ushered in the information age, is the fourth industrial revolution the beginning of a new epoch, a new era, a new world order? Perhaps hundreds of years from now, as our great-grandchildren sift through our hard drives, phones and data sets, it will become clear. <laughs>